say that the Lord has brought us this Mother's Day morning. Thank you, Lord. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers once again.
mothers are the first ones that we had that taught us that little prayer. Now it ain't beyond the sea. Rock your cradle. Mama can kiss a hurt and make it go away instantly. Yeah. Just like kissing. There's something, there's something unique about mothers. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to mama and you can tell mama, Mama, the world has just fell in upon, fell in upon me. She can make it so where it's not so bad because she is a mother. And I'm like, I'm a comfy this morning from this particular verse of scripture. It's from the book of John. It's from the last seven words of Christ. It's one of the last seven words of Christ. And it's John 19. Verse 26 and 27. And the word of God reads, When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, mother, behold thy son. Then he said to the, to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to bear his own home. Word of God, people of God. Amen. And this Sunday's message is all, it's only dedicated, it's, it's dedicated for mothers. I, I use that scripture for Christ, but this, it, it's all, it's all dedicated to mothers and the great things that they have done in each and every one of our lives. From the rock of our cradle up to right now. Amen. Yeah. Daddies have a special place in children's lives. But mom has a unique place in children's lives. They brought them forth from their bodies. They know them intimately. A mother will protect their child to the ends of the earth. She will protect that child with her own life. Mothers will run back at the burning buildings, attack wild animals, all Amen. for the child of hers. Mothers nurture, mothers discipline, and most of all, mothers teach. I say that from my life because my father went to church. My mother took us to Sunday school. Took us to Sunday school. You know, that's, that's how we got first introduced to God it was in Sunday school. Dad came to church, mother came, mom came to Sunday school. So that mother that God gave us, the one that he told us to honor, he didn't say honor the one who had the nice pair of shoes and the best coat and the best dress. He said, the one I gave you, honor that one, because that's the one I gave you. As I said a little earlier, mothers were housekeepers. You know, they, they kept the family in line. Mom could take a dime and make it 50 cents. They had to make the building. You know, they, they could do that. You know, we could take a dollar and we can't get 50 cents out of a dollar, but mom can take a dime and get 50 cents out of it. Mama will go the extra, not the extra mile, but the extra, extra mile for her children. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure that they are spiritually in line. Make sure that they are healthy and as, and as much as she can do for them. Little boys grew up and like little girls, like their mother. You know, those are some of the first persons that we love. Someone that reminded us of our mother. Then we become men and we marry and we complain about the ones who are just like our mother. You're too much like my mama. You know, you get used to having to get on my nerve now. I could tell my mama that, but I could tell you get on my nerve. But, you know, we, once again, we thank God for mothers. Godly mothers 
they are the first ones. They they led us, they led us to the Lord. They taught us about the Lord. And they kept us close. I'm not saying that mother's family don't, but I'm saying when I was growing up, mothers kept us close. We were underfoot. Uh, she could come to the front or back door and yell your name and you would answer because you were too far away. I know times have changed. He said, we're old-fashioned with this and with that. Call me on my cell phone. Call you on your cell phone, but you're in, your other, you're in the other room. Call you on your phone. That's all right, too. No matter what the situations are that come up in our lives, young men, uh, middle-aged men, old men, as long as you got your mama, you can go to your mama with anything that has crept into your life. I said to say this. Uh, I, I, was, I was young once. I was 17, 18 years old, and, and I had every trouble under the sun. On them little girls breaking the heart, and, and doing dumb stuff, and, and, and all that. And 11, 12 o'clock at night, Mama waiting on you to come home, and you could go to her with any problem. She said, well, what's wrong, son? Well, Mama, she said she ain't like me no more. <laughs> and she can make it better in 15 minutes. She can make it better. You don't cry all the way home, but she can make it better in 15 minutes. Because that is what mothers do. And I'm sure right now that the young mothers who are bringing up young children right now uh, learn that ability from the elders, because I'll tell you, mothers, mothers are something else. They can kiss them with pain. They, they, they're, just, they, they're just wonderful. They, they, they're unique in what they do. They're unique in everything that they do. They can touch a heart where, where no one else can touch a heart. They can reach a stubborn child that no one else can reach. Brother can't reach him, dad can't reach him. But mama can go in there with her demeanor and have that child open up to where she could be helped or he could be helped. Because that's the uniqueness of a mother. God gave us a mother, but he gave us parents. But he gave us a mother to teach us how to get along. To teach us how to come along. God has taken the, the mother, the woman factor, and he's, woman came from man, okay? We are men. We're we supposed to be upright, brawny, stuff, and all this right here. But then he says, you still have to have compassion. So that compassion, look at a woman. She has compassion on another mother's child. She, she definitely has compassion on her own. So that's what I look at when I look at mothers, the mothering in them. How far they will go to keep their families together. How far they will go to keep their children together. That's the job of a mother. And I said earlier, I call it housekeeping. Keeping house, keeping her family together, keeping her children together. Learning about the Lord, going before the those are the things that mothers do. And we, we look at our Savior, Jesus the Christ. His mother. His mother had to seen, had seen prior to his day in Canaan before he had done any miracle. His mother had to have seen something in him, or she had, she had, she must have been looking forward. And Jesus said, Well, Mom can't see me, let me make this come alive. But Mama had to have seen something in Christ when she says, hey son, they have ran out of wine. She said, Mama, Mama, you know, uh, what's that to me, Mom? You know, my, my time ain't coming. She said, boy, go on and help them people out. So Mama had to have seen Jesus do something that Jesus didn't think she had seen, but you know, Jesus being God and, and, and in Christ, and he knows it all, but so yeah, he, mama thought maybe 
Jesus, Jesus had not seen her, see him perform a miracle, or mama had seen something in him. Because mothers can see things in children that no one else can see. They have that unique ability to look into their hearts, to look, look into your eyes and look at your mind. Why did she you know I'm lying and she was there? But she just looked into your eyes and know that you're lying because of the uniqueness of her. So Mary had to have seen Jesus in a different light, or she had to have seen him do something extraordinary. Because she said, son, there is no wine. So mama, I can't help you today. So son, your name is Jesus. You are the help. So Jesus, Jesus turns the water into wine. Astronomical. Great feet. But when I look at that, when I'm looking at that, I'm looking at how his mother had known that he was able to do that. Because she says, whatever he tells you to do, yeah. you go ahead and do it. So right now, whatever Jesus tells us to do, we should go ahead and do Amen. We look at him Hanging on the cross. Christ is hanging. He's dying. He's stretched between the earth that doesn't want him any, that doesn't want him anymore and the heaven that's not ready to receive. And what does he do? He makes a way for his mother. So while we hear the ones who still have their mother, we should always be trying to make a way. For our mother. Deacon Williams said he spent many nights with his mother. Deacon Williams, I'm not trying to talk to you, but I drove 28 my 28 hours from Colorado Springs to Walterboro, South Carolina, because my mother was in the hospital in road. I was so tired when I got there. My nephew took me to Charleston. I was asleep within the first hour, but I drove from Colorado to South Carolina to see my mother. Because my mother was near and dear to me. My father died in 1980. I had my mother for 19 years. We have 19 years alone. My mother died in 1999, 23 years ago. But that lady still holds a special place in my heart. Like Deacon Small said, you know, I, when, when I'm about to do something that ain't right, well, what would mama say about that? Mama said, no, oh, that ain't right. Because she instilled some things in me that still live with me today. That that either is right or is wrong. There's no gray area. And as we celebrate our mothers today, to all the young people, to all the people in the middle, to all the seniors, the ones who are a little older, I salute the mothers. I give the mothers all the all the accolades that I possibly can for all the things that they have done in their children's lives. Amen. From wiping my snotty nose to washing my dirty clothes, I thank mothers. Mothers who yeah. always, always, I say always be there for their children. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Godly mothers raise godly children. Yeah, yeah. Godly mothers will be on the battlefield with godly husbands. Yeah, and that's yeah. what God is looking for. He's looking for a family to come along. He's looking for somebody to serve him. And when we serve him as a human, then we Lord, have accomplished something hey, that the devil does not want to see. Lord, and we need mothers. When I look out in the church congregations, I usually see more women than men. Women, mothers, keep a church family going. Women, mothers, keep their home family going. So we salute you today on the day that we set aside for you, mothers. And I, I ask the Lord to bless and keep you is my prayer. I've done what thus says the Lord. Deacon Williams, Deacon White, uh, Deacon Smalls, uh, 
Thank you.